following the recent statements by Kaduna State Police Command denying reports about 85 percent at five persons rather being kidnapped along Kaduna Abuja Highway within the space of four days. The state's police public relations officer, ASP Mansur Hassan, has said security agencies engaged bandits in a fierce battle along the Kaduna Abuja Highway on the 6th of January at about 11.30 p.m. Mansur noted that the incident occurred when the bandits in large number attempted to cross the said expressway at Dogonfili area heading towards Jari. They got engaged in a fierce shootout by the well-alerted security agents who dislodged them and about eight commuters plying the highway got affected but there was no casualty. Reacting to the unfortunate incident, some Kaduna residents who spoke to our correspondent Bosan Yakusak called on the government for swift action to put an end to the scary situation on the Kaduna Abuja Expressway. It's a sad one uh, because um, um, when something keeps on uh, reoccurring, you know, and um, that is how it has been in Nigeria, in, ev in every sector, or uh, the same issues over and over again. And um, we're, we're only praying that uh, this new government, of course, uh, looking at their body language, uh, well, of course, will definitely step into action uh, to totally eradicate uh, the issue of kidnapping and killings on the way. But as it is right now, we all know the disadvantage of, uh, of, so, of such things. Uh, of course, uh, we have Kaduna Abuja Road, a major road in the country, and um, of course, look at like the commercial side of it. Definitely, uh, it will kill the business of, 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 of both sides. The situation is terrible. What I think should be done right now is for the GOC Kaduna One Div and um, our um, Honorable Minister of Federal Capital Territory to all put sets together because it's like. Um, Kaduna is a, is, 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 is a state and uh, they, they are trying to make Abuja uh, an honorary state. So, and if it is an honorary state, then it means that uh, uh, Wike, in his position as a very powerful man, as a very active man, should also uh, focus on the idea of security, uh, securing the roads. Chief of Army Staff. Yes. If I may, Chief of Army Staff. Yes. <laughs> if I may, Chief of Army Staff. Do you understand what I'm telling you? It's not only the army that we do it. We need intelligence. We need people that we go to hear the rumors where the bandits are fine to bring out the news. And then we follow it up. We follow it up with action. Now you hear that bandits occupy this place and nobody will go there to go and rescue people from there. The insecurity in Kaduna, uh, not just to talk about... Uh, 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 Kaduna Abuja Expressway, other routes that uh, a lot that has been happening that people are not even aware. Uh, for me, I think government uh, needs to do more. And when I mean government, the local government, the state, and at the federal level, uh, reason is because if nothing is being done, uh, the lives of people will be lost. And what? We need to be done should be security uh, information gathering as relay as regards people in your environment. If you want to fight security, it's an all-encompassing thing. The society needs to play their own role. It's not just in the hands of of the the, 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 the paramilitary or the military personnel alone. The fact is, to fight a system, you must know somebody from the system. Now, what I'm trying to say in essence is, we have the Amotekuns and the whatever in the southwest and the. Kaduna is right and Kaduna State should have their own security network.